These are taken aboard the uh, USS Ariscany CVA-34. <coughs> uh, the films are shot uh, in 1969, my first cruise. <coughs> uh, a lot of flight op uh, operations aboard ship. We'll see uh, Longapo in the Philippines. Uh, carrier landings and takeoffs, uh, refueling off Okinawa. Uh, the first scene was sunrise, and we'll see some rough seas. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that coming in. That's an A4. <coughs> And an A4 doing a bypass. On our ship we had um, A4 bombers and F8 fighters uh, as well as some um, couple of other kinds of uh, aircraft and, and uh, I think they call that the COD. Anyway, basically A4s and F8s. <coughs> uh, there's one of our uh, F8s coming in. Uh, VF191. November Mike. Uh, bird number 100 on the side. Those A4s, sometimes when they are heavily loaded and they're catapulted off the debt like that, maybe that was the COD. And I'm not sure what COD stands for. <laughs> anyway, sometimes the A4s, when they're heavily loaded, when they are catapulted off, they will drop below the uh, flight deck. <clears throat> They'll actually drop out of sight before uh, coming back up. I wish we had sound here from the the uh, aircraft noise and stuff. That plane there um, is kind of a miniature AWACS. Had uh, some electronic surveillance um, kinds of stuff in that dome. And he uh, decided not to do it, flew by.
That cable, that's the arresting cable. There's about three or four of those. That's an F8. So is that one. Um, anyway, there's there's about three or four cables stretched along the uh, back of the flight deck. They, uh, they lower their hook and it catches that thing and brings them to a very sudden halt. This is uh, the Philippines uh, looking from the base side of the river into Alangapo City. The river is called uh, Shit River, at least uh, by most of the servicemen because of the stench. I think all the town's sewer empties raw right into that river. These uh, people in the boats uh, are uh, begging for coins, throw them coins and they dive in after the thing. And that's Bill Buck waiting for me to come across. <laughs> at, uh, at this point in time, uh, some people from the ship, the uh, streets were not uh, really paved. Lots of holes in the streets. Uh, later on, when I went back in uh, 1976, they had uh, cemented, made cement streets, sidewalks with curbs and all that kind of stuff. Quite a vast change. And this is in 1969. Uh, a couple people from my squadron. Uh, the guy on the right was named Paul. Uh, from Boston, I think. And that's a sh the uh, ship docked at uh, Cuby Point Air Station in the Philippines. And looking out toward the bay. That guy there is John Aber. <clears throat> he was the uh, supposed to be the best man at our wedding, <laughs> but he didn't uh, quite make it inside. He was uh, drunk, passed out, or otherwise uh, hung over in the car when we got married. Uh, but anyway, this is the cruise uh, right before. Uh, <coughs> I uh, got married. <laughs> Lost my buckle there. Anyway, that's me, and that's, uh, let's see, I can't remember his name, but he's another guy in the squadron. Uh, doing a one-finger uh, salute there. That's our uh, sister fighter squadron, uh, VF-194. And that's how they would unload and load those things uh, on and off the ship uh, when we were tied up at port. Okay, this is uh, during some uh, rather rough seas. We went through, uh, a, um, I don't know if this was when we went through the uh, typhoon or not, but in any case, uh, we went through, this is some rough, rough uh, water scenes, windy. <laughs> um, went through one typhoon where it uh, opened up an expansion joint in the flight deck and you could actually see down. <laughs> Broke a couple of ladders along the catwalks.
Now, I don't know uh, exactly where this was, uh, but uh, it may have been off the uh, friendly shores of Vietnam. I think it was. That's No, no, it can't be. I don't think we ever got that close. That's probably off the Philippines or Okinawa or somewhere. Anyway, uh, there's another, another carrier. I'm not sure which one it was. This is a refueling operation. Underway refueling. Uh, that's an oiler um, ship, and it, they're bringing the uh, hose over <coughs> to uh, pump fuel. And the uh, big lines and stuff. They uh, pumped. Um, uh, JP5, uh, Avgas, and black oil, you know, whatever kind of fuel we uh, needed. The Ariskany, the USS Ariskany, was built uh, in 1945. I think it saw a little action during World War II, again in Korea, and of course in Vietnam. <coughs> uh, anyway, it was uh, uh, an older uh, carrier, originally a straight, uh, straight deck, I believe, and then later converted to an angle deck. Uh, two uh, two catapults uh, where some of the newer ships have uh, a catapult off the uh, angle too uh, maybe four of them I'm not sure that's uh, an F8 uh, and an F8 coming in for landing The Ariskany Arisky, um, is uh, now in mothballs, has been for uh, several years in uh, Bremerton. And there's several older carriers over there in mothballs.
and some more rough seas. Whenever we had uh, flight operations, there was always a uh, helicopter in the air uh, for, for uh, uh, I think mainly for in case of an accident, a plane uh, going down or something, they could uh, pick people up out of the water or attempt to. That uh, 100 plane there, I think we called that, that double nuts. This is in Hong Kong, 1969, arriving there <coughs> courtesy of the uh, United States Navy and the uh, USS Ariskany CVA-34.
that was uh, Paul. Um, Paul, what's Paul's last name? And the other guy there was um, last Roger Hayes. This is the uh, tram that uh, went to the top of um, Victoria Peak. And that's looking down on the city and the uh, waterway. Hong Kong itself, and there's the uh, ship, is uh, on an island. <coughs> uh, Victoria Peak is uh, on the island of Hong Kong. And that's looking uh, over across into Kowloon and uh, China. Um, not sure how far in before you hit China there, but uh, that's looking toward the mainland <coughs> and China. That's uh, me and uh, Roger Hayes. Um, <laughs> and. <laughs> Um, can't think of his name right now. Guy from New York, Stan. Uh, no, not Stan. Now this is in uh, uh, Tiger Bomb Gardens is what it's called. Tiger Bomb was uh, built by a rich uh, Chinese guy. <coughs> he also built something equivalent in uh, Singapore, I think it is. Anyway, it's an interesting place to go. <laughs> Lots of interesting carvings and statues and uh, different things. There I am.
This is on the little um, boat that uh, took us to and from the ship. And this is Kowloon on the mainland side. And this is uh, on, in uh, Kowloon, some uh, British soldiers. And being a British colony and everything, uh, they uh, travel on the left-hand side of the road. And apartment uh, complex. We are going to go, I believe, right up to the Chinese border. That uh, was a, um, a brewery, San Miguel Brewery. I think it was San Miguel anyway, is, is a brewery we stopped at. A very good beer. Paul O'Hara, that's who I was trying to think of. <coughs> now this is looking uh, into China. There's a bunch of bobbed wire. And uh, we're on a little bluff looking uh, over the valley there into uh, Red China. And I think those are rice patties. And this is more of Hong Kong. Almost looks like it made another descent up to uh, Victoria Peak. There's Bill Buck. Paul O'Hara. O'Hara is his last name I was trying to think of earlier. And there I am. AT3 Nelson. <laughs> Oh, and that looks like it was uh, down in the uh, bar district. They have a name for that area, and I can't uh, remember what it's called.
And this is as we are leaving Hong Kong. This is in Hawaii, that was uh, Diamond Head, I believe. This is part of my second cruise during 1970. And the beach area, uh, and that is Diamond Head, uh, Waikiki Beach. The guy on the right is Glenn. Um, he's from Oklahoma. I can't think of his last name. The guy on the left, I don't remember his name. And the guy in the middle is me. And uh, Bill Buck there. Oh, okay. There, are Glenn Johnson and Larry uh, Blackburn. We rented a car. Bill Buck, me, Glenn Johnson, and Larry Blackburn. And this is uh, May 1970, Hawaii. Uh, we, uh, I forget exactly where we uh, drove to uh, Polly Pass and around part of the island.
I believe that's on uh, top of the Poly Pass. And these are the infamous pineapple trees. And a little sugar cane. <coughs> and here we are out in the ocean blue. Another carrier in the uh, convoy we were in. Not sure which one that was. And some other uh, smaller ships. And a third carrier. Oh my. Three of them. Including us. And this is my uh, second cruise. The first one was in 1969 <coughs> um, with a six or seven month turnaround back in the States uh, out again for about seven months or something like that. And this is part of the second cruise during 1970. That's uh, Greg Stanton. I couldn't think of his name earlier when they showed the 1969 films. That's Greg Stanton, Paul O'Hara, and various uh, planes.
that's uh, one of the elevators oh the forward elevator the one right in the middle of the uh, thing up forward that's me on the left without a shirt on uh oh stuck film I am standing on uh, taking these pictures uh, from uh, <coughs> what they call the uh, LSO uh, platform landing signal officer I think that stands for anyway it's at the rear of the ship uh, right next to where the planes are landing coming in at whatever speed they come in at a hundred knots or whatever it is and uh, it looks farther away than it actually is. Probably not more than about uh, 20 or 30 feet away from where those things are touching down. I just think with a ship ran into a uh, rainstorm and there I am <coughs> with ear protection on and uh, I was on that platform right above there. A plane that just went over, I can't remember whether that was an A6 or an A7, I think they were A6s. Oh, and this is uh, taken from the fan tail at the back of the ship underneath the flight deck.
That guy's name is uh, Morrison. He was, he's a first class petty officer in charge of our shop. Uh, Bill Morrison, I think, is his first name. And the guy just plugged in power. <coughs> and this is um, one of the five inch gun uh, emplacements. I think there were four of those on the ship, two on each side. And that is one of our uh, pilots, uh, Campbell, um, Lieutenant, I believe. <coughs> and that uh, guy on the right is a friend of uh, Glenn Johnson, who was uh, in the Army. Um, Or maybe, no, I'm thinking of something else. I'm not sure. Anyway, that was Glenn Johnson. <laughs> well, I think this is the Philippines. Uh, we went up to uh, Clark Air Force Base uh, <coughs> for some reason. <laughs> That's uh, George Ceph Cessna on the right me on the left we're in our uh, towels out in the gun turret turret <laughs> mm. and uh, George must have a brand new mustache or something That guy's name is uh, <laughs> Danny Strain. And uh, Danny Strain was a uh, second class electrician, AE, aviation electrician. George there is a uh, a uh, jet mechanic, uh, ADJ, and looks like he's holding that ship in the background on his hand, or at least that was the intent. And here's fueling underway. Uh, very similar to 
maybe even the same ship as the one showed earlier in the 1969 films. <clears throat> one time we were doing refueling and the uh, one of the hoses broke, got black oil all over everything um, upon the flight deck, <laughs> really got stuff all over a lot of planes, even down in the hangar bay. During refueling and uh, reprovisioning, sometimes there'd be three or four ships abreast like that that have lines going all across. Uh, one of those ships, I think, was an Australian ship. During the uh, <coughs> 1970 cruise, uh, my uh, sleeping compartment was directly underneath the uh, flight deck, um, number two or the number three wire. Anyway, they would uh, smack down right above us. <laughs> Um, got used to sleeping under those conditions though during flight operations and the landings taking off. That so didn't uh, didn't bother me at all.
<laughs> trio uh, uh, camera shooting operation. Roger Hayes, uh, Greg Stanton, and myself. Uh, I assume we had each other's cameras doing that. Well, here we are in Hong Kong again. <clears throat> and this is uh, during the uh, 1970 cruise. Zipping up a taxi cab up some street or another. I think we were looking down into uh, Aberdeen uh, on the other side of the island. This is on one side, Aberdeen is on the other. <coughs> um, I don't think I ever got down to Aberdeen until uh, I went to Hong Kong the, what, the third time? in uh, 1976 uh, how par mansion Oh, that's Roger Hayes again. Uh, well, this is Tiger Bomb. Yeah, I'm sure it is Tiger Bomb in uh, Hong Kong.
The Mandarin Hotel in Hong Kong. And the Hong Kong Hilton. Hong Kong Hilton has a uh, swimming pool in it on about the fourth floor. This is uh, converted from uh, film to uh, videotape, Super VHS videotape. Uh, this particular one, uh, now, uh, um, about 10 minutes to 4 in the morning, December 31st, 1989. In a few hours, it'll be uh, 1st of January, 1990, last day of the decade today.
I don't remember why that flare was out there. We must have, uh, we may have had a man go overboard. Uh, yeah, I think so. There's a life, uh, <coughs> what do you want to call it, tire out there, <laughs> buoy thing. Yeah, and somebody down in the water. And this is in Japan, taking a uh, train into uh, Tokyo. And uh, Greg Stanton there, he and I took a train into Tokyo. We were in um, Yokosuka, and we took a, the two of us took a train into Tokyo. Rode uh, the uh, bullet train back on uh, part of the way anyway. Not many uh, signs, street signs and whatnot in uh, in English or in um, a Romanized uh, alphabet. <laughs> oh, it's very hard for us to tell where we're going most of the time. And uh, this is in Hawaii at the uh, Honolulu Airport. Or is it? Um, this may, no, this may be uh, Okinawa. One or the other. I, uh, I flew uh, <coughs> back on my second cruise here. I flew back uh, instead of taking the boat back. <coughs> um, uh, 
to um, to um, I flew back twice, <clears throat> one in 1970 and then again in 1971. I made two and part of a third cruise. And I can't remember which route was which. One of them I flew back from, from uh, QB Point up to uh, Okinawa. I think this may be the one going to Okinawa, uh, or uh, the time I flew to Okinawa. Uh, then from Okinawa to Hawaii, and then from Hawaii to uh, Travis Air Force Base in California. Then I think, think the uh, second time in uh, 71 I flew uh, from uh, Clark Air Force Base in the Philippines uh, to Hawaii. One was a, uh, <coughs> one trip was on a uh, uh, Air Force uh, uh, plane and the second time was uh, a commercial uh, Mac flight on United or uh, one of one of those anyway this is the end of the uh, 1969 and 1970 uh, Cruises overseas, uh, care of Uncle Sam and the uh, Navy.